Hi everyone, Chantelle from OneDayWebs.com. Um, so I want to do a little snippet today about um, what happens after your website is built and live. Um, a lot of clients um, come to me and get me, especially clients where you're building like a brochure style website. So maybe they are, um, um, let's say they're a, a service-based um, business so they do something they do coaching they do personal training um, they're an artist whatever the case is and you set up this website and um, they're a chef I've done a few of those right so they um, set up a website and you create all these lovely um, uh, fun, this lo lo lovely functionality and these features that allow them to do things like blog or post recipes um, and all of that cool stuff on their website and you deliver this website and it's beautiful and it's gorgeous and all the feedback's lovely and everybody loves it um, and that's the last bit of attention that that website gets um, a lot of business owners don't make the time or allocate the funds to pay somebody else to um, edit and add to their content over time uh, is that important? Like everybody says it is. Is it really important? What's my opinion? Hell yes. Like content, 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 content. It's all about content. Um, you know, if all you're going to do is get us to create you a, a really pretty site, like that's great. Um, but it, it's a little bit of a, yeah, it's a wank really, right? Okay. <laughs> It's, it's a wank. It's not doing the job that it could do. It's a bit of a letdown. It's, um, it's not going to do you justice. It's not going to do your business justice. not really going to bring in any leads, really, if you aren't continuing to work it, you know. Um, so blogging, I mean, blogging, yeah, it takes, it takes a bit of time. You need to make the time to do it. Um, but you will reap the rewards, you know, you need to get out there, you need to get those words out there and, and get people commenting and visiting your website and reading and it just needs to be dynamic, it needs to be a conversation you have with your audience and your customers and your client base, you need to be loading testimonials, you need to be um, showing the things you've done, um, you know, really use that, um, that uh, platform in the best, to the best of its ability. Um, you know, uh, there's no point investing in building yourself a, a gorgeous website um, if you aren't going to make the most of that opportunity. Uh, I'm a little bit of a, if you're going to do it, go balls to the wall kind of girl. Um, so I get really excited when I meet with clients and they like itching to go and they have ideas already about all of the things that they want to speak about. Um, okay, so what do you blog about? Like, what do you write about? Like, that's the, the probably the second biggest question people ask me after, do I have to blog? The next thing they ask me is, but what do I blog about? Um, well, think about the top five questions you are asked in your business, you know, every day. So when you're pitching or you're proposing to a client or when you send a quote out or whatever, what are the, the questions that come back? Start there. Write a blog answering each one of those and um, get into the swing of things, you know. Um, a lot of businesses, especially on their website, sometimes what they do and their services can be a little bit um, uh, sort of cerebral, I like to call them, you know, like it's not actually that clear what you do. There's all this beautifully written sort of airy-fairy, wishy-washy, uh, you know, content, which we need <laughs> on the site and it has all the right words. Um, but like sometimes it's not clear what you do. So write some candid um, blogs about what it is you actually do, you know, in practical terms, like layman's terms, like um, leave the marketing speak at home, you know. Um, inform people, educate people, you know, do you have a burning passion about a particular topic? Um, put it out there, you know. Um, you, you put that out, it's, it's good karma, man. <laughs> like, it comes back, you know, if you put if you put that good energy out there and you help somebody and what you, that thing you say might help five other business people, I mean, that's incredible. Like, that's incredible, you know, the, the, the one minute YouTube clip or the half an hour blog post you might write might just be the thing that really changes somebody's life. You just never know, you know, so why not? And um, you're worth it. Your business is worth it. Um, and you and your business deserve it. 
So um, if you don't have time to do it, then I uh, suggest that you um, you pay somebody to do it. You find somebody really good that gets your business and that gets you and that gets your voice. Um, same advice applies about choosing web designers. You know, you find the, the right sort of combo and the right partnership and uh, you get them to do it for you. And you see where your business can go. So yes, you do need to blog. Um, you'd be amazed how easy it can be if you just think about um, answering common questions and overcoming common objectives um, when, you, when you're getting business out there. Start there and uh, we'll give you more tips as we go on. Chantelle from OneDayWebs.com. If you want us to build a one-day web for you, visit the website and you can book us at OneDayWebs.com.